the first round of the Eastern Conference playoffs. The Miami Heat find themselves on a postseason deadlock at two games apiece. It is a critical turning point, and they know the time is now as they face a pivotal Game 5 against the New York Knicks. Round 1 of the NBA Playoffs continues. And this is what the playoffs are all about. It's 2-2, and we're in a crucial Game 5 of this first round Eastern Conference match. And tonight, it'll be the New York Knicks going up against the Miami Heat here at the American Airlines Arena. This is Kevin Harlan courtside with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our reporter tonight on the sideline, David Aldridge. And so the tip It's Miami. And so it's Chalmers with it. He'll bring it up for the Heat. They come off the loss on Friday. Yeah, you, you hate losing a game that you control for three quarters. But that fourth it was... Just really an abomination in terms of how they played. And unfortunately, they took it out. And Bosch can use his size like he did there. And he can step out and hit the jump shot as well. You love the versatility. He hits Chandler high post. Over LeBron. Chandler, no good. Very surprising that he came away empty there. Especially given room to operate. Wade against Gallinari. Bosch, a screen on Chin to the left wing. Five on the clock, and the basket by Chalmers. Chalmers kept his eyes on the rim, playing with confidence. Felton dishes to Stoudemire. Chandler, the pass to Stoudemire. Into the lane. Oh! Woo -hoo! And for a big man, Stoudemire is an incredible dunker. Glides to the rim effortlessly, and the D really at his mercy. Now, here is Ogalskis. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. The Heat shooting their first free throws of the game. The first one falls. The towering presence of Zdrunas Ilgowskis intimidating for opposing teams. 
He's a real matchup problem. Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. Another miss. Boy, they had their chance there, but couldn't get it to go. Alinari on the wing. Wade is covering. Pass to Chandler. Scott him up. And it's Miami with the rebound. Bonish finds James. And stolen by Torrioff. We're just about two minutes into the first quarter. Chandler with the ball. He's picked up by LeBron. Six on the shot clock. Stoudemire the pass to Turioff. It doesn't go for him. Fives with some nice D. You know, currently they're just one of five from the field. That's not going to get it done. That one goes. Count it. And it's a difficult task to try and stop Wade inside. He plays a physical brand of basketball and has a variety of moves to choose from. And so New York calls timeout. They're first. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played. Back to Chandler. Alinari on the wing. Out to Stoudemire. Takes a three. And the three ball is good. Stoudemire's got five points so far. And this is the range Stoudemire has. I like seeing him test his limits. Pass to Ilgowskis. Wade against Gallinari. No oh, good from Wade. It does not get much easier than that, but somehow he came up empty there. Chandler not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. Well, you know, Gallinari is looking for the best option out there, even if it's not his own number. Bosch is screen on Gallinari. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Stoudemire. Let's it go from 11, and the Knicks getting another bucket right there. There's Gallinari working hard, being productive for his team. His effort always impressive. Bosch a screen on Gallinari, and play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. Beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Yeah, I agree. You know, sometimes that can be a tough call for the refs to make, but not that time. It was easy there. Here is Turioff. He has yet to score, and the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. The next shooting their first free throw tonight. Turioff, no good on the free throw. You know what you love about Turioff? is his passion for the game. I mean, this guy plays with great fire, and many times it's hard for other guys to match his intensity. Hello. I mean, that's <laughs> what I call a move. <laughs> that is some artistry. Greg, you're right. On his way to the basket, he was soaring. Hey, bump the move. How about the finish? That's right, fella. Bang that thing. So here's Gallinari following the score by Miami. Just four to shoot. For three... Turioff misses. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. They get it back. Up again. Great positioning on the putback. And right place at the right time. Smooth there on the putback. Alinari outside. Belton sets a screen for Gallinari. Here's Turioff. New York, no good that time either. Guys, this hasn't been his quarter. I mean, to me, just doesn't look completely comfortable or confident. 
James, no good. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. The wide open look here for Bosch. Offensive rebound heat. Chalmers outside. That falls. Nice speed that time from Dwayne Wade. Chalmers has got his second basket of the night. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. The Knicks making a switch here. As the bookies checked in. sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it. They're tearing it up on the glass. Now, here's Chalmers. Six points for him. Way to screen on Ezebuki. Lock at six. The Heat need to get a shot off. And here we go with Chandler running it up the court. Another shot. Miami grabs the miss. It has not been his game so far. I mean, he's trying his best, giving great effort, but little has gone his way. I think he has to play more conservative from this point on. I mean, that's two fouls already. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Miami. Well, I've liked their assertiveness inside. They've been getting that way and playing that way the whole time, setting the tone right away. But the inside area is their territory. And I've really liked how they've moved the ball tonight. Because of this selfless approach, they are piling up the assists. And Miami making a change here. Haslam's checked in. Curry's checked in for New York. And so Chalmers nails both of them. He's as solid as it gets from the line. I mean, give him the opportunity. He's cashing in on those. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Felton can't get it to go. Heat on offense. Right now, they're on a 9-0 run. Here's LeBron. Off on the layup. You know, he might want to think about deferring for a while. He's had his chances this quarter, but just not able to convert. Chandler kicks to Azubuki. Down low, Curry. And Curry throws it down. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with a pass. Haslam a screen on Chandler. Bob pass to Bosch. Taken away by Felton. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. And stolen by James. To the middle. Looks for Bosch. Gets it to him. The defense trying to make it tough for Bosch, but to Chris's credit, he stays focused on this shot. Miami shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. First free throw is good. A different look for Miami. Mike Miller's checked in for James. Eddie House subbed in for Mario Chalmers. Sean Williams checks in for New York. Mason checks in for Raymond Felton. Both good from the line that time. It, it, it's been a really good day for him at the line. Some other bigs have well-documented problems on their free throws. He's not one of them. Here is Mason. Fires the three. Rebound by House. Pass to Wade. It's rebounded by New York. Here's Gallinari. And it's D. Wade with the rebound. Now the Heat with it. Big run right now going for him, 11-2. 
It's stolen by Curry. And here we go with Curry running it up the court. And it's Williams finishing it off. Finishing things off there with a dunk. Miami leading by four. Bosch heads the pick four way. And there's the drive. Can't cash in from close range. New York's gone one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. And the basket is good. And the defense no factor, which is why he simply laid it in. Bosch is screen on Gallinari. Wade, bounce pass. Curry with the steal. And now the Knicks on the break. Gallinari wide open. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. Wade up top, guarded by Mason. Mason against Wade. Pass to Bosch. A.T. that time from Curry. And it's Curry with the ball. Bringing it up for the Knicks. Trailing by two. Here's Azabuki. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. Miami's gone two or three from deep so far in this game. Driving in. Boom. He jams it straight down. And that's how to attack the paint. Don't settle for the jump shot if you can get to the rim. Here is Mason, still scoreless. New York moving it around. Williams in the post. He's guarded by Hazel. A heat leading by four. Here's Bosch. The putback. And Curry pulls it down. Curry's got four rebounds now tonight. Pass to Williams. Now, here is going on. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Has him against Williams. Bosch. And the dunk by Bosch. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, GA. The lead is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. So a tough quarter for him offensively. He hasn't been able to give his team a lift when they need it. Haslam a screen on Williams. Out to the right wing. It's House outside. Off the mark. His first miss of the game. One for two. Williams dishes to Mason. Alinari on the wing. To the paint. Headshot off. Some solid defense from Bosch. The Heat leading by six. And it's Miller in the corner. Fires for three. Good, it's Bosch picking up the assist. And off to an incredible start here early from long range. Lighting it up from outside. Hard to keep up with this. Mason the pass to Williams. Gallinari in the corner. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Gallinari's got five points so far. You got to keep an eye on Gallinari now. He'll shoot those three-pointers like crazy. Aggressive getting those three back. Gallinari against Wade. Outside house. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. And so it's Miami with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. They've dictated the pace, pushed the ball at every chance, and it's paying off for them. We'll return shortly. So glad to have you with us here as we bring you more action from courtside at Game 5. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from Miami, guys. Aggressive at running guys to the backboard. You could tell it was part of their game plan coming in. Yeah, and you know, when a team establishes an edge on the glass early, it really sets things up for the rest of the game. Chalmers passes to Haslam.
Miller finds James. Osgov with the steal. Yeah, a bit surprising to see them leading at this point, given the number of turnovers they've already committed. A dependable passer. Chandler doesn't just look to score. I mean, he's also good at finding his open teammate. Chandler against James. Anthony with a screen on Chandler. Here's James. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That one on Chandler. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. No question about it. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the officials. The free throw drops for James. The feel LeBron has for the game. Unreal. In whatever situation he finds himself in, he always seems to have an answer. And both free throws good for LeBron. Coaches love to see guys get to the line drawing fouls. It shows he's playing the game with some aggression and passion, too. Stoudemire, the pass to Mozgov. The Knicks shooting their second and third free throws tonight. First free throw is good. Osgoff hits them both. And so James will bring it up for the Heat. Here in the second quarter with a little over a minute gone. Osgoff with the steal. And here they come. Here's Stoudemire. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. And this is where Stoudemire inflicts so much damage. And it's why he gets fouled so often. The Knicks shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. That free throw, no good. I think it's a point of emphasis for this coach getting to the line where you can pile up some freebies and set your defense. No good on the second free throw. Usually, free throws are a formality for him. I didn't expect that result when he stepped up there. Here's Haslam. Mozgov with the block. And it's out of bounds. The Heat able to retain possession here. And the Heat making a change here. Ogowskis has checked in. About a minute and a half into the second quarter now. Miller, no luck. Knicks trail by four. Here's Stoudemire. Good work defensively by Anthony. Miami's gone three of seven tonight from three-point territory. Driving to the basket. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. Really piling on the lead with a dunk like that. Back to Felton. Stoudemire with a screen on jump. Here's Felton. No good that time. Anthony with the defensive effort. LeBron kicks to Jones. Miller the pass to James. Stoudemire grabs the miss. Knicks trail by six. No one near Felton as he lets it go. It's good from long range. Felton has got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. And timeout is called by Eric Spolstra. He's ready to talk things through with the team. That was a good time to call the timeout to try to settle everybody down and get back into their offensive rhythm. They've been coughing up the rock an awful lot.
It's stolen by Stoudemire. And here's the fast break. Fields leading the way. It's blocked. Yeah, and Ilgowska stretching out there to block shots. Superb at using that huge wingspan to come up with rejections. And now let's take a look again at that incredible rejection. And that block was something. It's the playoffs, and every possession and defensive stop matters. And here are the Knicks now. It's a three-point game. Here's Chandler. Blocked again. Love the defense from James. When he's engaged and focused, he can block some shots, folks. He'd have gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. Now here's LeBron. And James throws it down hard. LeBron showing you how he does it. A stylish flush by King James. Pass to Moskov. Out to Chandler. Let's it go from deep. And the Knicks hit again from deep. Nice work. Got the look he wanted from the perimeter and made it count. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Chalmers dishes to Anthony. LeBron James on the wing. Pass to Ogowskis. And the jam by Ogowskis. <laughs> and not a long trip to the rim for Ogowskis. Using that reach to just hammer it down. Felton feeling it out of it. Osgoff with it. And here is Chandler. Over Chalmers. Chandler, no good. Ilgowskis up top. Mozgov covering. Ilgowskis, the pass to Anthony. Out to Miller. Four on the clock. Here's Ilgowskis. The rebound by Fields. New York's gone four of eight tonight from three-point land, shooting 50% on the three ball here. And working, Kevin, themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. And maybe cause some foul trouble along the way as well. We know what that can do. It pays off typically in good fashion for you. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. And didn't have a single free throw in that first quarter, but he started to play with a little bit more of an edge to his game here in the second. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And so James will bring it up for the Miami Heat. Miller sets a screen for LeBron. Over in the corner, Chalmers. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. Chalmers has got 11. This team really relies on Chalmers knocking down three, spacing the floor. Time out, time out. That's where he really brings some value. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Over to the left wing. Pass to Chandler. Felton with a screen on James. Here is Fields. A three ball. And again, it's the Knicks missing. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That one is on Stoudemire. And you almost have to climb a ladder to guard Ilgowskis. For Miami, they have been coming through at the charity strip. They've made seven of their eight attempts.
And the first one at the line is good. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. Yeah, you have to make teams pay for fouling you. That's why they call them free. And they've done exactly that. Made them pay. Turioff, he's checked in for New York. So he gets them both. The Knicks trail by five. Felton the pass to Turioff. Here's the break. Up the floor. Jumps up. And Chalmers slams it in. What a game for this man. Mario Chalmers putting on a show. Stoudemire outside. They need this. Oh, and there he puts oh, it down. Man, what a oh, good yeah. oh, my goodness. And I got to say, sort of surprising he goes for a slam that difficult when they're trailing. Mm -hmm, but, but still, a magnificent move to the rim. I don't care what the score is there, fellas. That's the play we'll remember from this game, clearly. Now here's Stoudemire. He's got seven. Osh has checked in for Zadrina Silgowskis. Sean Williams checks in for the Knicks. Miami leading by five. Outside, James. Anthony with the screen on Williams. Miller outside. Latrey. Stoudemire grabs the miss. Stoudemire's got his fifth rebound in this one. Over in the corner, Williams. Off target from three-point range. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. It's clearly been their edge, and in a close game like this, you look for every edge you can find. Now here's Bosch. Six points for him. And you got to love the effort. I mean, he battles just as hard on the inside as he does on the perimeter. They get the rebound. Stoudemire dishes to Felton. Goes up again. The shot misses. Good D by Miller. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. Bosch, that's for two. Miami no good on that time either. You know, even though they have the lead, you can tell he's frustrated with himself that he's not doing more. The shot by Williams, no good. The Heat leading by five. Here's Chalmers. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. And Fields kicks to Felton. Floats it up for Williams. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. And I tell you what, guys, that's a big play to make in a close game. Potential momentum builder there. And he's trying to shoot his way out of it. You know, they have the lead, but honestly, I, I think it might help him be a little bit more selective tonight. Fields. Good. A nice assist from Felton. Felton's got three assists tonight. Right in the heart of that defense. Found a way to convert. Chalmers pass to LeBron. No good off the front iron. Well, the defense got lucky there with him missing. But they don't want to chance that again. And that won't go. Missing the go-ahead bucket. And so Miller will bring it up for the Miami Heat. LeBron outside. Pass to Anthony. And it's Anthony with the jam. You know, he could have tried to force a shot there, but that's not him. Instead, LeBron keeps his eyes up and finds an open team. Miller against Fields. There's the screen. Now, Tyrioff. Rebound by the Heat. Miller's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Bosch, and the rejection by Stoudemire. At the defensive end, Stoudemire has all the tools to shut you down and turn your water off. And timeout is called by Eric Spolstra. He wants a minute here to get things straightened out with his team. And the Heat with some changes. Udonis Hassel, he's checked in for Anthony. Wade comes in for Miller. Eddie House subbed in for Mario Chalmers. And a new group in for the Knicks. Eddie Curry, he's checked in for Turioff. Azubuki comes in for Stoudemire. Colinari, he's checked in for Landry Fields. 
Andre Mason is subbed in for Raymond Felton. On defense, New York. They trail by three. Snatched up. Tough sequence there. They just couldn't get it to fall. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. To me, it appears he's starting to lose his composure a little bit. We'll see if he can regroup and get back into a better rhythm. Now here's LeBron. Pass to Bunch. Some nice ball movement here by the Heat. Here's Wade. That shot off. Some solid defense from Gallinari. Curry finds Gallinari. Now here's Williams. Now Azabuki. Scoreless thus far. Down to five on the shot clock. Bosch against Curry. Bosch dishes to House. Bosch passes to Wade. And here is James. LeBron going to work inside. Yep, you know, after a score in this first period, he's really turned it up a notch, building some momentum. We've got 113 left in the first half. Here's Curry. It's hauled in by the Heat. Bosch has got nine rebounds now tonight. And Aslam kicks to House. Off target with his three. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. And finished off by Williams. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Making a statement. Whoa! Hey, now! Hey, now! <laughs> yeah! Fighting through contact. Not easy trying to corral LeBron when he's focused on scoring. Good luck with that. Outside Williams. Here's Curry. Chris Bosch with the rebound. Bosch has got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Williams against LeBron. LeBron galloping to the rack. And James throws it down. Oh, Kevin, not a petty, not a Manny, but a facial. Oh, a bounce to the ounce, Greg? Yeah, showing off the bunnies. He's a highlight reel, always on the launch pad. And so it's Miami heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. And we'll be back with you shortly. NBA playoffs round one. Thanks for joining us as we get back to the action on the court. Nice game. Great performance by Mario Chalmers. And if he can keep shooting from deep like he did in the first half, he's going to be more than a handful. Yeah, you know what? The defense is going to adjust. They'll be ready for him now, so I'm sure they talked a lot about how to slow him down. Well, it doesn't get much better than playoff basketball. Let's get back to the action here in round one. Stoudemire outside. Back to Felton. It's deflected. Leaps for it, and it goes out of bounds. Uh, last touch by Wade. Great instincts from him to get a hand on that pass and tip it out. And, you know, even though they didn't come up with the steal, that's still a nice defensive play. Knicks trail by seven. From deep three-point territory, the rebound by Ogowskis. And they hold a huge advantage on the backboard. And that's been the key to this lead. I mean, they've really dominated the glass. Here's LeBron. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That one is on Stoudemire. Bully ball. LeBron has been doing that since he stepped into the league. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. Free throw good, James. Push 
so he makes one of two as the second one misses. Knicks trail by eight. Stoudemire with the ball. He's picked up by LeBron. Good D by LeBron. And uh, Miami shooting around 36%. They're just not able to finish consistently. And the jam by Ogowskis. Loving the energy right now here in the third quarter as they try to take control of this game. And I really think this is the time to do it because this is a real important juncture in the ball game right here. Stoudemire with a screen on Jones. Pass to Turioff. Looks for Bosch. Gets it to him. And here we go with Bosch running it up the floor. Oh, James flashes in the alley-oop. And man, LeBron's taking things into his own hands with that alley-oop. Really impressive. Just over a minute and a half played here in the third. Felton dishes to Chandler. Back to Felton. Stoudemire with a screen on Jones. And it's blocked. Out of bounds. Next ball as New York keeps possession of it. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. Hey, bringing that postseason intensity, so critical. You know, these plays can change the trajectory and outcome of a game. Just three to shoot. Stoudemire. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of falling. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. Pass to Chandler. They can't stop the run with that one. Ouch. Five shots without a make. That's a really ragged start coming out of halftime. This offense's first miss after three straight makes to start the second half. And again, it's the Knicks missing. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. Here's Chalmers. Out of bounds, New York takes possession. New York calls timeout. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. And New York making a change here. Mozgov's checked in. Next trail by 14. Outside Felton. Lost to Gallinari. Stoudemire setting the pick for Gallinari. And it's LeBron James with the rebound. LeBron's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Chandler with the steal. And here we go. They could use a bucket. And it's Gallinari missing. Miami leading by 14. Bosch with it. Now guarded by Gallinari. Ilgowskis against Stoudemire. And the jam by Ilgowskis. Yeah, the big man is just dominating right now. Ilgowskis plays hard, physical basketball. Felton with the ball. Felton with a screen on Bosch. Bosch against Stoudemire. Six on the shot clock. Trying to break that ice cold streak. And it's Stoudemire with the jam. Great admiration for Stoudemire's athleticism. You've got to be aware of it now because he'll get to the air and throw it down and hurt. Bosch a screen on channel. Here's James. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three point play. And defensively, these guys are looking for answers. Since halftime, they've seen disjointed and out of sync. They have got to get back that rhythm defensively. Joel Anthony's checked in for the Heat. And a switcher also for New York. Fields checked in. Knicks trail by 17. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. 
on the wing, Chandler. Sinks the three-pointer. Chandler's got eight. I think Chandler does a nice job of spotting up, and when he gets his feet up under him, he's set to let it go. Anthony sets the pick for James. Excellent D there from Mozgov. New York's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Molinari finds Felton. New York moving it around. Chandler with a screen for Golinari. Yep, it goes in, and the Miami lead is cut down now to just 12 on the basket from Chandler. And just understanding his role and finding ways to make plays. Great decision there. James, the pass to Chalmers. Here's Bosch. James outside. The 19-foot shot. And again, it's the Heat missing. Knicks trail by 12. Chandler down low. Working on James. Felton dishes to Chandler. Over James. Chandler, no good. With well, the defense refusing to give up anything easy, love seeing that kind of intensity. James, no good. And so it's Felton who will bring it up for the New York Knicks. Chandler against LeBron. There's Gallinari with the three. Knocks down the three ball. Gallinari's got it back down to within single digits for the Knicks. Oh, great ball movement there. Chalmers outside. Outside Bosch. James wide open. Basket is good. The assist from Bosch. Bosch has got his fourth assist in this one. That's a big turnaround right there. LeBron answering right back with the three. He knows momentum is in the balance, and he wants it to swing his way. Chandler kicks to Felton, and it's good off the back of the rim and in. Felton has got five now. Oh, man, great vision. And timeout, timeout is called by Eric Spolstra. Wants to talk some things over. Might be seeing some things to adjust. A different look for Miami. Udonis Haslam, he's checked in for Bosch. Miller comes in for LeBron. Eddie House subbed in for Chalmers. Miller finds Wade. Anthony with the screen on fields. Wade drives in. The Knicks pull it in. Fields the pass to Mason. Now here's Curry over Anthony. And Anthony sends it back. And now the fast break. Anthony's with the ball. Wow, making sure of that one. Knicks trail by 12. Mason dishes to Fields. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. Exactly. The defense determined not to allow the easy layup right there. They'll settle for making him earn the free throw. Sean Williams checks in for Gallinari. He hits both from the strike. Miami leading by 10. Now here's Wade. Pass to House. Tries from 16. Rebound by Williams. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. Costly error there. We'll see how they rebound from that miscue. Well, you know what? Their wounds are self-inflicted. I mean, you've got to play much smarter than that. Bill Gauskas has checked in for Anthony. 
Haslam a screen on Azabuki. Wade drives in. Outside House. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Curry's got rebound number seven for him tonight. It's hauled in by the Heat. Haslam's got four rebounds in this game. Down low, Curry with the steal. Fast break, here they come. Williams kicks to Mason. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That one is on Ilgauskas. I like how he drew contact and got the foul in the X. Smart play. And he makes the first. and drops them both. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. And that efficiency is, you know, so critical when you're looking to overcome a deficit. You've got to be close to perfect and can't waste scoring opportunities. Curry with the steal. Wade against Williams. Pass to Fields. What's it five from 18? Williams can't get it to go. The Heat leading by eight. Wade surveying the D. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Wade's got four points in the quarter. Well, you see how Wade adjusts to whatever the defense throws at him? Strong finish there. And here's Fields. The rebound by Ogowskis. Ilgowskis has got rebound number eight now on the night. As a bookie against Wade. Right wing, shot clock at five. The shot by House is no good. You know, when he has the ball outside like that, that's exactly the kind of D they need to play on. And the next miss again. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. Pass to Wade. Ilgowskis with it. And Curry pulls it down. Curry's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Stolen by Wade. Here's Haslam. He's guarded by Williams. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Well, I'll tell you what, Haslam has a reputation as being a great teammate, a real professional. He does whatever is asked of him, whether it's on the court or off. Mario Chalmers, he's checked in for the Heat. The Knicks also changing it up. Terry off comes in for Eddie Curry. And it's Gallinari in for Landry Fields. We got this, we got this. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. 133 left here in the third quarter. Mason looking around. And the call is going to be... Yes, yes it is. An illegal screen. All you have to do is point to their turnovers this quarter. There's a reason the scoreboard looks like it does. That's been the culprit. The turnovers. I mean, T.O.'s, those kinds of mistakes, have really kind of drained their confidence to this point. And that rejection had some mustard on it. Huge, huge play. Hey, bringing that postseason intensity, so critical. You know, these plays can change the trajectory and outcome of a game. And there's the call on Udonis Hazard. That's foul number two for him. You know what? Tried to step in and cut him off, but just didn't get there quick enough. Yeah, he was one step late that time. Getting another opportunity here to see that powerful rejection. Well, they didn't make it this far by giving up easy ones. And now their defense is in overdrive. Mason against Chalmers. There's Gallinari with the three. Good on the triple. Gallinari's got 11 points. Right now, the defense needs to do a better job of closing out on this guy. He's heating up from outside. And it's Miller in the corner. 
The shot's good on the assist by Wade. Miller's got his second bucket of the night. Three-point shooting since the half has been about as good as you could ask for. And now's the time for them to step on the gas pedal. Don't let up. Keep letting it fly from deep and build that lead. Play through the finish line, not to it. Keep the pressure on. Wade, count that one. Eight points for him. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. Gallinari outside. And he wills that one in, sinking right through off the back iron. And this is what Gallinari does best. Once he catches fire, he is aggressive to score. Here's Wade. Some solid defense from Gallinari. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. It's the Heat. They lead by 12. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on 2K Sports. And we're happy to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one. LeBron passes to Bosch. Back to LeBron. Haslam a screen on Chandler. And here's Chalmers from the arc. Chandler with the rebound. Chandler's got four rebounds now tonight. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. You know, hard to guard against the length and athleticism of Chandler. I mean, he's good at drawing these fouls. And the first one drops. So it's Chalmers with it. He'll bring it up for the Miami Heat. 17 points was their biggest margin. It's Miller on the wing. Fires the three. The Knicks pull it in. Gallinari's got his fourth rebound in this one. You know, even though they're on top in this one, you'd like him to be better out there because he's capable of being better. It sure would make things a lot easier, too. Miami leading by 10. Here's Chalmers. He takes it in. Way to stay connected defensively. Don't allow him to get that shot up. And stolen by Miller. And here we go. Fast break. Down Down it goes. goes. Take that rack. Yes. Wow. Slam. Boy, there's nothing quite like LeBron on the fast break. That combination of size, strength, and speed makes him electric. Offensive rebound. And another shot. And it's Gallinari missing. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Here's Turioff. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. And Stoudemire slams it in. You know, passes like that go a long way. Terrific teamwork. The Heat leading by 10. Here's Chalmers. LeBron James on the wing. LeBron with another miss. 
Gallinari up top. Defended by Chalmers. And the jam by Stoudemire. And Stoudemire is just excellent timing on these alley-oops. It has that great connection with his teammates. Lob it up, and he'll take care of the rest. Pass to Haslam. Here's Miller. The three. The three-pointer is right on target. And the Heat lead by 11. Miller is a laser from deep. He can be lights out out there. The defense has to make it tougher for him. Gallinari outside. Felton sets a screen for Gallinari. And here is Dottemeyer. At the elbow, it's Felton. And now Chalmers running the floor all by himself. And it was ignited by the steal by LeBron. I mean, he's got his head up right away, and the ball is out of his hands quick. Felton against Chalmers. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. No problems knocking that one down. Chandler's got ten points in just the second half. Drilling that catch and shoot. Caught it and shot it with confidence. Bosch, a screen on Chandler. Looking to end his cold spell. LeBron can't get it to go. Knicks trail by 10. Stoudemire finds Felton. Back to Stoudemire. New York moving the ball around. There's a screen. Six to shoot. And stolen by James. Miller right side. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. James has got his seventh assist here tonight. And a chance now to catch up on some numbers here with the hustle stats for the Heat. I like the fact that they've been very aggressive at the defensive end. Tenacious. They're jumping passing lanes and coming away with a lot of steals. And they've also not only created turnovers tonight, but converted on them. All game long, that strategy has been paying off. And he knocks down the first one. The Heat making a switch here. Wade's checked in. Both free throws good from Felton. And it's the Heat with the ball. 17 points was their biggest margin. Chandler against James. A fadeaway. And they recover it. Curry off with the block, and he recovers it. They shoot again. Here's Bosch. Missed it, even after all those chances. Gallinari with it. Wade picks him up, and Gallinari throws it down. And how about the ferocious take? Gallinari proving he can drop an absolute hammer when he wants to. James in the high post. Chandler on him. Chalmers dishes the box. Wade passes to Haslam. A second chance effort. And too long on the shot. Well, that's a rare miss for him inside. He may have just rushed it a bit. Maybe lost concentration, too. Here's Chandler. Lays it up off the glass. Chandler's got 12 points in just the second half. A solid offensive rebounder. Love how Chandler uses that length of his and his leaping ability to keep plays alive. Very active on the offensive end. Turry off with the block. And that's out of bounds. Miami will retain possession. And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. It's a different kind of defense teams play in the postseason. Much more intense, more in your face. High energy plays like that one are winning plays. Ilgauskas has checked in for Udonis Haslam. And we'll have a timeout called by Eric Spolstra. Wants to make sure everybody's coordinated and intent. By now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Well, guys, during the last break, I listened to Eric Spolstra address the team. He's happy with how they've been playing. He told them, hey, they had their chance, but this is where we take it from them. This is our game and our series. He's got them pretty fired up, Kevin. Thank you, David. Pass to Bunch. Launches it from deep. Knicks with the rebound. Gallinari's got rebound number eight now in the night. He's looking for Stoudemire and finds him. And what an alley-oop. Those two read each other so well. It's a play I'm sure they love to run. 
And as the receiver, he doesn't feel the need to go for the monster finish that time. I mean, landed up for the two points, worked out just fine. And it's James missing. I wonder if switching baskets really threw him off. I mean, because he can't get anything to fall this half. Miami leading by four. Pass to Ogalskis. LeBron James on the way. James cooking from deep. Off the catch, LeBron not lacking confidence or hesitating. Upside, Felton. Over Chalmers. Felton can't get it to go. And, and they continue to control the glass. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team, and that's why they're ahead. Here's James. And Stoudemire pulls it down. Knicks trail by seven. Over in the corner, Chandler sinks the triple. Chandler's got a couple of three-pointers now in the fourth for New York. And really, the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring them back. Gallinari with the steal. And now the fast break. Gallinari with the ball and the dunk by Chandler. I'll tell you, they're right in this. We'll see if they can maintain momentum. Well, it starts with defense. They got some stops, scored some buckets after that, and now we've got ourselves a ball game. Here's James. Bosch, that's for two. Misses off the left iron. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets yanked soon. I mean, that's how bad his shot selection has been. The ball distribution was there. I mean, outstanding work all the way around. And so James will bring it up for Miami. 17 points was their biggest margin. Wade for three, and that comes off the assist by Mario Chalmers. Wade's got nine points now in just a second half. Felton against Chalmers. No good on the free throw. He hits the second from the line. They've got to play good defense here. That trip to the line helped and hurt. The Heat with the lead. Wade outside. Pass to James. Ogowskis in the post. He's against Turioff. Some nice ball movement here by the Heat. Trains it from beyond the arc. Chalmers has got five points now this quarter. Defensively, they just look out of sync. Not closing out on the threes in time. Well, I think they're getting caught in that in-between zone, no man's land, giving up three straight from beyond the arc right now. Yeah, he's owning them on the offensive end, but, you know, he can't do it by himself. And timeout is called by Eric Spolstra. He's not taking any chances and wants to huddle them up right away. Heat leading by three. Wade outside. Pass to James. Chandler with the steal. And oh, here we go. Felton's got it. The fast break chance. Comes up empty down low. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. We've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. Mason ejected in for the Knicks. Free throw good, Ilgowskis. That one misses. He did the important part at the line there. The heavy lifting, if you will. Made this a two-possession game. 
Chandler, the pass to Turioff. Felton with the ball. Wade picks him up. Pass to Turioff. Shot clock at six. New York needs to get off a shot. Chandler's shot. Good. Staying assertive on the offensive end, which is what he should do after Chandler knocks a few down. You know he's locked in and ready to roll. Wade kicks to Ogowskis. Felton against Chalmers. Pass to Ogowskis. It's rebounded by New York. Now Turioff covered by Ogowskis. And Turioff slams it in. I like the fact he threw that down. Turioff not settling for the layup. Miami trailer. Steps back. Here's LeBron. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Yeah, easy call. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for New York. I like their defense tonight, and we don't talk about that side of the ball enough. But you can really change a game when you get a bunch of steals and get out in transition. You know, something else that catches my eye is the fact that they have blocked a bunch of shots. I mean, the block shot total is extremely impressive. The defensive intensity, top level. He's able to hit the second one, and that ties the game up. And you can see that even though he ties the game up, disappointed he couldn't give him the lead. Here's Felton. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Mario Chalmers picks one up. First free throw is good, and that gives them the lead. as his second attempt at the line, no good. And you can sense that the pressure might have gotten to him a little bit, but he did do enough to put them in the lead. A much-needed hoop right there. What a game. 116 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Chandler scanning the floor. Pass to Turioff. Count that one. Turioff's got it all tied up now for the Knicks. You've got to have a good basketball IQ to be effective. I love the decision to kick it out. Here's LeBron. And it's out of bounds. The Heat able to retain possession here. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. And this is postseason play at its finest. Refusing to give up shots here in the playoffs. And timeout is called by Eric Spolstra. The magnitude at this juncture in the game clearly warranting a timeout. possession. 17 points was their biggest margin. Just five to shoot. Ill cost us. And that's out of bounds. Miami will retain possession. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. And that block was something. It's the playoffs and every possession and defensive stop matters. There's 39 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Felton with the ball. And Bosch picks him up defensively. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. Well, that was one, too. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. And we'll have a timeout called by Eric Spolstra. 
No doubt he is feeling the importance of this moment right now. What do you think we're going to see here? Big chance here to tie it with a bucket. A critical possession, no doubt. We'll see what they draw up. James against Chandler. The kick out to Bosch. Bullseye! And it's frightening when Bosch starts to heat up like this. The Knicks call time. <laughs> Guys, what are their best options now? Yeah, you know, always intriguing to see what a coach draws up in this situation. And we call those ATOs, or plays run after a timeout. They often make a difference in the game. seconds left to play in the final quarter. Chandler kicks the Tory off. Bosch against Gallinari. Let's a floater go. Can't cash in. And that's an intentional foul. It's the first, and that will put them up by two. And he cannot convert on the second. That misses. And so the big win by Miami in a tight game. This was a pivotal game in the series so far, and they were able to keep their heads great, get the job done, and take the all-important three games to two lead. Now they can breathe yeah, right. just a little bit easier oh, knowing goodness. they're just one win away from closing this thing out. Had they lost this game, the pressure on them would have been huge. Oh, just gigantic. You're right. And that about wraps it up for this.